we have now got the official announcement of the men's team of the year. And there's kind of a surprise in it, honestly, somebody that I didn't really think anybody thought was going to be in the team. So we'll go and talk about that. We'll talk about the market crash right now. It continues to go down. We got a new patch that we need to go and talk about. We got some patch notes for those. We got the Icon Evo and our investments are flying. Team of the warm-up series is here. So we have a shit ton to talk about today. So let's not waste any more time. Well, actually, we have one more thing to talk about. We had 11,000 subs. Uh, we had 10K like two weeks ago. So that's insane. And thank you all for that. That, that's all you. If you guys want to buy coins, you can go to MMOXP.com. The link is in the description. Use my code JFC at checkout for a 5% discount. Team of the Year warm-up series has arrived. 83 times 5 attackers came out today. This caused our investments to go crazy. Low-rated fodders already up right now. 83s, if you bought a discard, are like 1.6, 1.7 right now. And they probably are even going to rise more as like the days go on here. We'll talk about that more later in the video, though. If you want to complete this, it probably won't be worth it at the same time you're just trying to pull for a team of the year right so it, you can go ahead and do it just have to be aware it probably won't end up being worth it in the end like most gamble SBCs to be fair but especially like that one and also we surprisingly got Thierry Henry <laughs> we just got Thierry Henry it wasn't even leaked until about a couple hours before content came out but here he is and I loved this card for like the seven games loan I used him with um I think he's very very good now keep in mind this only is coming out because of the fact that team of the year is coming out soon so they want you to drain your fodders so keep that in mind but we saw Zico and Kafu yesterday. We're going to get crazy SBCs, other ones for team of the year too. So just be aware of that before doing this. And we got this new gamble party bag type pick here. I would highly not recommend to do any of these gamble SBCs right now because we're about to get so much stuff for team of the year that just try and stay strong until then. And also we got the icon upgrade. This did come out and the icon boosts are very good. They're the exact ones that were leaked by Rick. It does cost 200,000 coins or a thousand FIFA points. And uh, I've got Zola in the club and I was thinking to myself, you know what? Like, why not? Not do it but the problem is low key if i want to talk about the negatives first here i actually think the card design kind of sucks with icons low key i think that's actually one of the reasons especially why i don't want to complete this which is kind of weird but i think the icon design with the green just doesn't look that good maybe that's just me i don't know but the boosts are really nice so if you have a card in your club untradeable like zola like socrates i do like that this is an option i don't like that it's paid but i do like that this is an option so to attempt to be optimistic i would say i like the fact that icons are getting an evolution like that's awesome. At the same time, 200,000 coins, 1,000 FIFA points. That's just not great. And also a funny thing too is that it says rarity base icon. You can just see it right above my head. If you have an icon that can fit into this, but you turned him red, like in a champs upgrade, either you turn Zola red or like Socrates red or Nedved red or something like that, you actually can't put him in here. I'm assuming that's going to be patched eventually. I'm assuming that's just a mistake. But uh, yeah, that's also a thing. So hopefully you didn't turn your Socrates red. And we got the team of the year daily login as well. And for those people who, you know, might say, I complain too much about this game, which you're, you're probably right, but let me compliment them for a sec here. Um, I do think this is great. I think daily login is like one of the best things they do every year, honestly. One bronze card to an 8320 for completing the whole thing is, you know, that's awesome, right? Can't complain too much about that. But all right, here we go. We've got the full men's team of the year announced. Let's begin one by one here. We start with Lionel Messi. He's not the surprise, actually. Because he won the Ballon d'Or, he won the best or whatever it's called as well, I figured he'd make it and he did make it. So whether he deserves it or not I, I mean obviously i think most people probably know he doesn't deserve it but i'm just saying you're not gonna have team of the year messi or ronaldo cards probably after this year anymore so let's just enjoy it while we can okay in three years time you're gonna be begging for messi and ronaldo to return and talk about the good old days so let's just enjoy our messi team of the year and probably ronaldo team of the year too okay Let, let's just enjoy it we got ruben diaz as one of our center backs ruben diaz once he gets a really high-end special card is always one of the best center backs in the game once again they have two play style pluses which is gonna make them insane We've got Allison in goal. Still no word about um if the goalkeeper will get a playstyle plus because no goalkeepers have playstyle pluses yet. I would assume that they're going to. And this one was a pretty contentious one too because of no Mark Andre Ter Stegen. You know, once again, it probably should have been Ter Stegen, but at the same time, Allison is not a bad shout. And people vote based on what they want in FIFA. EA put players in the team they know are gonna sell. We already know EA don't know ball, so like what what are we really gonna complain about? We have VVD on the way, and oh my god. God, I don't I don't even want to see this card right now. Imagine him with aerial and power header with 
corners that everybody switches to Van Dyke to. Oh my God, man. Rodri's made it in team of the year as well. Well-deserved for sure. I hope they really juice him out like they did Jorginho a couple of years ago. Hilarious that Jorginho was in the team of the year, by the way. Crazy in like 10 years, we'll look back on that. Like how the fuck did that happen? Even though he did have a very good season that year. Mbappe is in the team. No surprise there. You see that card load into your game. You either quit the game or you kill yourself. Kevin De Bruyne is leaked as well. Once again, well-deserved. And also I'm definitely getting demonetized for that. But fuck it, it's staying in. Erling Holland in the team of the year. Also no surprise and very well-deserved. Jude Bellingham also in the team. Once again, no surprise. I'm curious, very curious to see what play styles they really give these cards because it may show us like a roadmap of what play styles they want to be good this year. You know, if they plan on a Travella nerf, they probably won't give Travella plus to a ton of players in this team of the year. And if they don't plan to nerf it, I'd bet one of the attackers at least will have Travella plus like Messi might have it or something like that. So I'm very interested, especially because people have really been clamoring for a Travella nerf recently. Teo Hernandez in the team. I'm telling you, it's going to be such an insane left back this year. People are not ready for this. People in the comments saying like, oh my God, that's the goal. Don't show that Sky Sports going to nuke my channel. People saying DeMarco and Grimaldo are better probably but once again like it's not gonna matter at the end of the day they're gonna choose what they want to and the last one here is the surprise it is jeremy frimpong has made it into the team of the year this is a player that i don't think anybody thought was gonna make it in the team and he's had a very good season for sure and i haven't watched him much but i know from leverkusen you know fans and uh bundesliga fans out there they say he's been fantastic so it seems very deserved and i'm happy he made it because you know it's somebody different somebody we didn't really expect to be in the team so that's cool that frimpong is in foot scoreboard tweets out so there'll be two right backs right asking for a friend and uh fud zone is just getting cooked fud zone is let's just say it's all over it's all over i don't know what this dude was thinking he tweets out the updated team of the year with frimpong in it instead of trent and i mean he's just getting cooked no surprise he's just getting cooked and also we've got the 12th man and that has not been leaked yet and also the women's team of the year has not been leaked yet either so who is going to be the 12th man well we actually know for sure here that we've got three nominees in a pack leak we'll look at it in just one sec here i want to show you guys this because who do you think is gonna make it right it's gonna be harry kane cristiano mo Salah. you know he, he's not in team of the year because of Lionel messi now who's gonna be that 12th man because we know here that in this new pack code that has been added we've got a team of the year 12th player nominee lone pack one and a team of the year 12th player nominee lone pack two so does that mean like we're gonna get six nominees or does that just mean something else i'm not exactly sure but it says one of three here on the team of the year nominee lone pack and then we have the 87 times four pack that's also been leaked as well what will that be for don't ask me. Honestly, that might be even a team of the year warm-up pack that comes out very soon or could end up being a new refreshed, you know, weekend league rewards after team of the year. I'm not sure, but we'll have to wait and see where that's going to come in. We also have the Elite Kinetic Encore pack. It includes five guaranteed UEFA team of the group stage, Ultimate Dynasties, Radioactive, Thunderstruck, including icons or Champions League slash Women's Champions League heroes with one guaranteed to be rated 88 or higher, 11 gold rare players rated 87 or higher. It is one of the best store packs of the year so far. You're going to get five promo players along with 11 rare gold player items rated 87 or higher. So once again, though, I recommend not being tempted to open this with FIFA points or with coins because we got so much stuff on the way here soon. And that transitions us into this where we always get great team of the year flashbacks around this time. We've got Marcelo, Franck, Ribery with that everybody did. Rafael Varane and Sergio Ramos were two of the best center backs in the game until team of the season. Rafael Varane was legitimately in teams until July. Like that card was a joke. There's no doubt in my mind we're going to get another one or two of these great flashbacks. You know, we got some concepts. We see Di Maria. We've got Neymar. Luka Modric and Golo Kante, all these guys that could make it as a flashback. Leonardo Bonucci, forgot about a Milan Bonucci team of the year card. Forgot that existed. And Delict in there as well. Bruno Fernandez, you know, there's a lot of great team of the year shouts that could be a flashback. But all right, let's go and look at this new patch that we've got here. We won't dive too much into like every single detail. Let's zoom in a little bit here. We got a couple fixes though. The objectives notification stuff should all be fixed. The Like the icons popping up too much when you complete an SPC or the number of objectives that it shows you on the screen being wrong those all should be fixed now and also under some specific camera settings the broadcast package did not always display after scoring a goal in division rivals i'm really hoping they fix the thing where the card doesn't pop up when you score because obviously in last year whatever camera angle you use the card would be like set fit to the screen now if you were in tele broadcast like i am the card just you can't see it it pops up but it's too big it's just a glitch right so i'm hoping that's what they meant by fixing that because if they just don't fix that for the entire year that would be hilarious to me 
because it can't be that hard to fix, right? Gameplay changes reduce the accuracy of lobbed passes and precision lobbed passes when taken at extreme angles. Once again, we'll have to see just how extreme this is. Lob passes were very good kind of turning around. I wonder if this was an attempt to try and stop those like first time lobbed through balls that are like backwards, if you know what I'm talking about. I will have to see what actually happens with that though. Slightly reduce the maximum potential speed of swerved through passes. So does that mean incisive pass got worse? I don't know. That could be nothing or it could be something. We'll have to wait and see, I suppose. We got improved auto switching logic when determining which defender to switch to during some lofted through passes. So if you've got auto switching on, that might be a little bit better, hopefully. We've got improved the consistency of a secondary contain request when locked to a player. So does that mean they buffed basically second man press? I don't really know what this means. Again, it's very vague. Um, buffing second man press is definitely an interesting thing to do. I wouldn't say it needs a buff. I think you could buff it if you, you know, fix the team press problem, but that's another thing that we just have not fixed. So I don't know what it means. It could it mean it got better. Yes, but we'll once again, have to wait and see. And you can read through the rest if you want to. That's kind of all we got for there. Going to general, we got 90 new star heads. So we might get some new faces going on too. And then one thing I thought was interesting too, in some stadiums, game cameras did not behave as intended. There are some stadiums where if you have a custom camera angle, it doesn't work. So if you set your camera to say telebroadcast height 20, zoom zero, like I have, and I go and play a game at the San Siro, I believe that's one of the stadiums, you can only play in the default 1010. So your camera angle is just different and it can make kind of a pretty decent sized difference sometimes. So if that's what that means, that's awesome because I want my camera to be consistent and stay the same because this is, you know, the bare minimum. But anyway, I'm feeling positive today. Well, we won't rant too much today. Then we also got addressed instances of stability issues that could have occurred. Hopefully that means we get some menu fixes. But anyway, random side note. Okay, this is this is a random side note. Icon or hero for Aryan Robin. I think I talked about this like a couple months ago. If Aryan Robin's not an icon, nobody's an icon. All right, I'm saying that right now. But like I said, we know EA don't know ball. Yaya Toure came into the game as an 87 rated hero. And uh, that, the disrespect on that is fucking insane. But Aryan Robin better be an icon when he comes into the game. And I do not care if he has a two-star weak foot. Um, just bring him into the game, okay, please. All right, the market right now, high-end stuff going down a lot. My Bobby Charlton actually, I think, went down another 100K today. If I could type, I think it went down from like 1.2 to 1.1 today, I want to say. 1.13. I saw earlier he was 1.1. High-end stuff going down. We're just getting really close to team of the year. There is a very small chance that the buy time ends up being like right now. I personally am not going to buy now. I don't think this is the buy time. I think it will be right after team of the year comes out, but it'll be very shortly after. Um, But if you kind of have the inclination that now is the buy time you can go ahead and do it i think i'm gonna wait until it drops though and also let's talk about fodder because i actually want to hold on to fodder i know most people already are making coins off of like 83s 84s 85s and 86s right now um but i think that we're gonna just get more stuff for the warm-up series i definitely want to sell before friday though i think it's definitely something that we want to do i think you can wait all the way till thursday if you wanted to i'd wait till after content today and then sell that's what i would do personally all right let's take a look at some of your comments at matt song says all evolutions are fraudulent i also have the sesignan oh my god is he awful when i reverse elastico with him the ball goes five meters ahead of him and he says he returned bomb pastor to the lcm spot he noticed a big difference i will do evos only available to good cards shit cards will be shit no matter what that's how the game is constructed no Evo will change it. I agree and disagree with this because, well, first of all, I have Sessignon and he was a giant factor in me not losing a game the last two weeks. So I just disagree with you on that, but you might just not like him very much and everybody plays differently. So you might just have not had Sessignon work. But at the same time, I do think that there is something to be said that obviously fake stats and hidden stats are a thing, right? Not necessarily hidden stats, like there's a, literally a coded hidden stat, but just players play above their stats. Some players play worse than their stats. That's just a thing. And I do slightly have have some concern with that with bronze evos if they start to play like shit so let me know if you've evoed a center back like that new center back that we got have you used one of those in a champs weekend and some division rivals did you use that new bronze evo and was he just as good as some of your other ones too because that was kind of a thing last year remember every bronze card that got a promo card it was rare they were very good but is it the same this year i don't know let me know if you really really liked a bronze evo that you've used or like if you have a 90 rated evo that came from a bronze or something like that or a silver card that you 
you've got up way high that you love. You know, let me know what you guys think. At, uh, okay, hold on. I'm, I'm gonna literally just butcher this so bad. At Akil Rajpal, do you think they create this lull on purpose to lure you in for the bigger promos? So there's not much market slash FIFA fatigue. Daily viewer, thank you. I do think there's, they, they do like a balance. I think everything needs a balance. I think if you had great content every day, the great content would no longer be great content, probably. Is it intentional or is it just like incompetence to a degree? You know, that's kind of up to you to decide. But I think we could have these lulls in content if we had repeatable game modes to kind of always be doing something with. Because you could have a, a week or two of content like we had and still have fun in the game if we had fun game modes. That's, I'm telling you, it's one of the most things I, I rant about the most. And it's just, it's, we, we don't, understand how good we could have it if we had just one better game mode that was fun to play there would not be nearly as much complaining about content on a daily basis if we had a good game mode to play and that's kind of like where that balance could be i'm not expecting ea to have the craziest content every day because I'm, i don't even necessarily know if that's a good thing but two weeks go by of shit content and you know the game modes are so shit as is that makes it more of a problem right so i do th i don't know if it's intentional to lure you in for bigger promos or if it's just them not understanding what good content is maybe it's both i'm not exactly sure and also i've heard some great things about zico you know this guy said he's just been fantastic like 99 percent of comments were talking about how good zico is and i do think also with the shorter players and the fact that inconsistent gameplay is a thing this year um it's nice to have that reliability that even in shit gameplay you can have a player feel a little bit better because the comment i put was Zidane or zico for the craft and i do actually think zico might be just more a little bit more worth it depending on our obviously his price but that reliability factor of having a player that's very agile even in bad gameplay it is nice to have At the same time i know zidane is also pretty crazy so i'll ask the question again one more time in the video zidane or zico who would you rather craft also uploaded my 20 no custom tactics yesterday if you guys missed it thank you for watching thank you for the support every day it's been crazy recently love you all see the next video very soon peace